Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you all are doing great today. Um, got my melts, so we're just going to get right into it and show you what I thought about them. Start with the ones that I only melted one from like each vendor of. I think I got them all up here. First is from the Krabby Candle Company in Zucchini Claws. And this one was really nice. It was actually a little bit of a light throw, but I think this is only like a one ounce scent shot, so that could be why. But you definitely got like the cinnamon sugar bakery note while I was melting, so it was good. Just a little lighter for me. From Tiffany Candles, this is Watermelon Jolly Rancher. Smelled just like the Watermelon Jolly Rancher candy. Really good. Loved it. Did well for me. Um, this one sniffed my tarts in Raspberry Jam Cotton Candy. This one did really good. Um, I liked it. It was a tart raspberry, but the like jammy part and the um, cotton candy helped sweeten it up enough, but it was a good throw, so no complaints there. From Candles from the Keeper Room Farmhouse Treats, and I just love this one. This one is just a nice creamy, like, bakery, vanilla, comforting, rich scent. I know it's like the description is like walking into a farmhouse kitchen where jams and jellies and breads are baking, but I just get a really creamy bakery. It's delicious. It's like one of my all-time favorite melts ever. From Scent Illusions, this one is hazelnut coffee and cream. It was definitely a coffee scent, and it was creamed out because it was really a really light coffee scent for me, but obviously with the cream, but it was really good. I'm not going to say I got much of a hazelnut. I didn't get, like, that nuttiness, but it was good nonetheless. Really liked it. Okay, got a couple here from Up the Creek Scents. This one is in Red Lipstick. This is just a really nice bright berry scent. Good thrower, lasts for hours, and it's really good. I absolutely love this scent. I wouldn't think I would, but I do. It's delicious. And this one, I didn't have the label pulled out. Go figure. Wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't have something I didn't have <laughs> fixed, right? Um, <coughs> excuse me, I can't get over this cold. Um, up the Creek Scents, still. Spicy Apples and Peaches Creme Brulee. This is really good. I love this one. Um, I pretty much just get like the spicy apples with that cinnamon background. I don't get a ton of peach. I just get a lot of the apple and the cinnamon and the bakery background. It's really good. I love that one a lot. The next is also up the creek and it is in cranberry peach cider. Most definitely the predominant note is the cranberry. A little bit of that peach is in the back. And that cider is really super strong. This one lasted forever and a day. And it was a really strong thrower. So it was really good. Um, this one is coffee from Up the Creek Scents. And as far as coffee scents go, it's a light coffee scent. It's definitely coffee, but it's super duper light. But it did have a throw to it. So no complaints. Really good. From... Front porch, I think this is the only one I mounted one of. Um, cranberry bread pudding. This one is so good. I, I can't explain it. It is just so good. You definitely get like that rich, bready cinnamon pudding scent, and that tart cranberry is just mingling in the background. Really good. And it's a strong throw and it lasts forever. It's amazing. Have a couple here from <clears throat> Lasting Scent Candles. This one is in. Ow. <laughs> Dreamland. And it's really good. It is a nice... I don't know if there is marshmallow in here or what it is, but it is a super creamy, lavender, calm scent. It's just... It was so relaxing. And actually, I very rarely find a scent that I can let go like two or three days in a warmer because of how strong I like my scent throws. But I think I let this go maybe two and a half days in my bedroom. 24 watt hot plate loved it and it kept throwing and it was just so calming it was just a really good scent overall I really liked that one um this is also lasting sun candles in Virginia's blueberry cookies this one is so good you get the shortbread definitely like a shortbread buttery rich cookie and then the blueberry but the blueberry is stronger but you definitely get that cookie and it's really good throw for me and I loved it and then 
I have one kind of, I guess these are scoopables. It was one of those little, yeah, it's a scoopable pie. I put it in a jar to make it easier for me. It's Victoria's Designer Creations in Fruit Stripe Gum. And it smells just like the gum. And it's a pretty good throw for me, actually. But it's a nice fruity blend, and it does smell like that gum. Makes you want to chew that gum whenever you smell it. A couple rose girls. Um, this is French Toast Pudding. This one was really good. Had a nice strong throw. Loved it. You got the cinnamon. You got like the um, the bread bread bready pudding background. If I can form my words today, um, really good. Loved it. Moving on. <laughs> Sweet lavender monster cookies. And this is a very good lavender. It is a sweet lavender, which I appreciate. And you definitely get, like, that monster cookie. Well, it's not a monster. I think it's just a blend of a bunch of cookies. But you definitely get the bakery in the background is what I'm trying to get to. And it's really good. Like, a nice lavender bakery scent. Really calming. I love this one in the bedroom right before bed. And it's just good. Also, from most girls, this is Raspberry Brulee Coffee, and I'm not a huge raspberry person, but I love their raspberry because it has, like, a sweetness to it. If it's a sweeter raspberry, I enjoy it. If it's a real tart raspberry, I just don't like it, but their coffee scents, I absolutely love them. They are in a tie with another vendor. I'd have to say Sniff My Tarts for the best coffee blends and the strongest coffees, but I love the coffee lately. I don't like to drink it. I like to smell it. I'm weird. I know, but it's really good. Nice, strong throw. Didn't disappoint me at all. On to a couple um, clamshells, and actually, I think all of them besides one is Better Homes and Gardens. This one is Calming Lavender Sunshine, and this one is definitely, I would call it more of like a medicinal lavender, maybe mixed with like a laundry scent type smell, but super strong and I really like that one especially on a day I'm cleaning the house I just like to pop that in warm crackling campfire just a nice smoky smoky smoldering scent it's just and it's a good throw it's a really strong thrower from better homes and gardens again this one is wild blueberry pie and I'm hoping they bring some more of this out I love it I'm not gonna say it's an authentic blueberry but it is a strong blueberry scent. Um, I don't really get a whole lot of the pie when it's warm, like I don't get the crust, but it's a really nice blueberry. It's odd on cold, but warmed, it's amazing, and I really do like that one a lot. This is Festive Holiday Cheer, and I kind of, this reminds me of like a cranberry spritzer. It's really strong on the cranberry. There might be like a touch of cinnamon mingling in the background, but you definitely get like that fizziness, and it's a good one. It throws well for me. No issues. This is from Swan Creek Candle Company, and the scent is in gingerbread. And these are one of those monster melts. They call them um, drizzle melts, but you can tell, like, the difference. I use a whole sh whole cube, obviously, but I, I could smell it, but I was a little bit disappointed in it. It wasn't a long-lasting scent. It only lasted maybe an hour, and I mean, for a cube that size, I expect more than an hour throw. So, it was good while it lasted, it just didn't last very long. It was a short stay. Um, one candle to this week. Better Homes and Gardens Warm Hazelnut Toddy. And this candle tunneled a lot. Um, the reason it looks smooth is because I put it on my warmer after to get the last of my uh, scent out of it. I have soot, always have soot, trim my wicks, but anyway, I didn't get a scent throw from it, and I don't know. I like to light the candles, but I don't like the soot, and I know I can snuff them, but when I, it's still soots. I don't know if it's what's in the wick or what, but I don't know. I didn't get a lot of throw. I think that was it. So that was the week, the week. <laughs> I think I'm going to wrap this video up before I say anything else. It's really stupid and tongue twisted. But um, that was my melts. If you have any questions, please comment. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.